I want to talk about innovation and quality, and I don't want to talk about sustainability because that's just bloody boring. It's the last century thing. I'm talking about quality and innovation, and I'm talking about beauty. And we think it's environmental protection when we destroy a little less. You know, we say, please protect the environment, reduce your water consumption. Please protect the environment, don't use your car that often. Please protect the environment, reduce your energy bill. You're not protecting, you're just destroying a little less. It's like if I tell you, please protect your child, beat your child only three times instead of five times. And people talk about low carbon. How funny. Carbon neutral. Yeah? Berlin wants to be carbon neutral in 2040. You can be only carbon neutral when you don't exist. Yeah? We talk about low carbon. Yeah? How funny. Look at a tree. Did you ever see a low carbon tree? or a carbon neutral tree. So that's why we feel so bad to be on this planet, that we try to reduce, to avoid, and apologize for being on this planet. And I want to tell you, we have things which are far more critical than, than oil, far more. For example, copper. Yeah, we don't have enough meteorites coming in. The energy side we will learn to solve. We will learn how to use the sun to get our energy. But copper? Yeah, the strongest carcinogens are still natural chemicals. Nature needs cancer. If you want to adjust a gene pool of longer living creatures to the gene pool, uh, to a changing environment, you need cancer. Yeah? Mutagenicity is essential. For you as an individual, it's a disaster, but for the collective, it's essential. We can do a lot to minimize our carbon footprint. As I said to Fritz here, yeah, cut your hair shorter, you can minimize your water consumption and your shampoo consumption. Yeah. You can do a lot. You can drink champagne instead of uh, Prosecco, because Prosecco has three times more carbon dioxide emissions, because the bubbles are smaller with champagne. Yeah. You can do something, or for example, you can do something in a building, never take the elevator. No, the opposite never takes the stairs. If you take a 30-year-old vegetarian and just look how much energy does she need to walk the stairs instead of taking the elevator, you know, it takes at least five times more energy to make the calories for that person. You know? So whenever, whenever you want to protect the environment, you need to take the elevator. Five times more carbon footprint reduction. You know? Isn't it amazing that we only look at minimizing our footprint, our highest, highest goal, is zero. We want to be good for economy, we want to be good for society, but when it comes to environment, the highest is not to exist. Yeah? Funny. Instead of being beneficial, the other species are beneficial for the world. We are less bad. Yeah? Where is our positive footprint? Look, in Sweden, we take a northern approach and make a global standard. In Sweden, your footprint is a disaster. You're destroying the soil. Every, whenever you walk, you destroy the soil. Yeah? But in Italy, when you walk in Italy, the, the water stays long in the meadow, or in, in Texas. Why don't you make a big footprint, but make it a wetland? A beneficial footprint, not minimizing your footprint like these carbon war idiots. Yeah. We have a design problem. Yeah. We distinguish between two different cycles, the biological cycle and the technical cycle. And we don't want to live just like ants or cherry trees. Yeah. We want to have computers and washing machines, etc. And it's really about saying, look, this is where we are and this is where we want to go. Now your customer is your friend and you can make new stuff out of it. So it's about effectiveness, not about efficiency. Yeah, efficiency means doing things right. Yeah. But when there are the wrong things, you make them perfect. Effectiveness means what is the right thing. In the Netherlands, the whole Netherlands is changing into cradle to cradle. So we make stuff, we make paint which is cleaning the air, not just less low VOC, whatever. No, which is cleaning air. We make the first toilet paper in human history designed for your behind and to leave it behind. It's the first one. Normally, one kilogram of toilet paper contaminates more than five million liters of water higher than drinking water standard. This is the first TV set designed for indoor use. Compared to any other TV set, it off gases is 30,000 times lower. Yeah. Compared to human being, it off gases is 50 times less formaldehyde, for example. So it's designed for indoor use, the first one. We can make buildings which clean the air. Buildings like trees. Buildings, this building, for example, is, is growing uh, butterflies. Yeah. Buildings which clean air, which clean water. We can be beneficial. If you change the super absorber from the diapers into 
or material you can put in the environment. If you change the plastic that you can put it in the environment, you can grow with one baby 150 trees in Israel or Tunisia. Yeah? So the baby can be carbon positive from the beginning. Why do you want to be low carbon when the baby can be carbon positive? We need to reinvent all the stuff, but not from less bad, but from supporting to be good. Because for less bad, we are far too many people on this planet. Thank you very much.